now for the last question task 4 they said you are designing a spherical tank to hold water for a large village in a developing country um, the volume of the liquid it can hold is given by the formula this one now and they said if r is 3 this radius is 3 and uh, to what depth must the tank must be filled in order to hold 30 meter cube so they said like this volume if this is 30 meter cube and if r is this to what level this height has to be filled up okay so in order to find out to we know the radius is 3 but to what height it should be filled up in order to have this much volume we can find out and by this formula so what we do is first thing is we need to simplify this formula they gave you a formula already v equal to pi and you know pi value is 22 by 7 so we have put the value 22 by 7 okay x square so x square is here and then r is 3 so 3 3 9 9 minus h by 3 now if you solve it so and volume is 30 so we put the value of 30 22 is here 7 by 7 and by 3 that become 21 and simply we multiply x square inside it so 9 x square minus x cube is going to become out now if you bring all one side this 30 if you bring it this side so it become this whole thing minus 30 equal to 0 so now this whole thing we're going to take it as a function okay and we're going to find so once we got a function think that we need to find a root now this function is in h so if we find the solution or the root in term of h that is what's been asked here according to the condition which is given volume so much and radius and we have put those values so based on the finding which they have given me we are trying to find what is the value of h and they said like using three iteration of false position method to determine the value of h so meaning is the same way you're finding the solution of h using falsy method so coming back i'm going to take this um, formula coming in um, microsoft excel we have got the form we got this um, we got this formula here and the same thing we need to do like the last video only thing is that we just need to do now with respect to this formula and we have to use the formula falsy method and as usual what we have to first to do is we need to find a range a and b and what we can do is we can start predicting from one to like that now you said why didn't you start with minus now naturally the height cannot be minus so we have to start we let's make it shorter we're going to take from something we're going to think from positive value so we need to get some more so just select this to drag it say something up to seven or eight okay um now we don't need to even go to eight the reason is why because uh, the value which you are finding it uh, let me just go back because radius is three okay so radius is three this side and if i take the diameter it's going to be what six so naturally the height will be below six it's not going to go above six so logically no need of going till and even till four i think till five so let's do this one so what are you going to do is get the fx value we're going to put that equal to now in this we're going to use this value to put into this one so let's do according to that is giving what 22 by 21 multiplied by by what you said 9 x square so 9 x square so here meaning that your h will be this one so 9 x square so h meaning 9 multiply by this value into again this value so that's minus then h cube so this multiply by again this multiply by again this so this whole thing so you can see 22 by 21 multiply by 9 x square minus 9 h cube and then outside it will be minus 30 so i think it's a little tricky but okay so once you've done this drag it for rest of the value and you can see the changes i mean the com values now look for where the sign is changing in this two one no change in sign sign are same no change in sign 
Now in this two, the change in sign is there. So this is our concern there. So meaning this will be my A, this will be my B, and this will be my F of A, and this will be my F of B. So we can see here that if I multiply this two, we'll be giving you less than zero because this is negative, this is plus. So this is the two boundary which you're looking for. So we're going to start from two and we're going to start from three. So that's how you guess it. So first is, let's say we change this to be H for you, the better understanding. And this is H. So let's take uh, this value, put the solution in saying that you are guess you you're trying to okay so we're just showing in them that you're guessing this and you got the boundary as two and three so now coming back we start the solution and as you know the way we did it we're going to repeat again so f a if a is this we're going to put the value of a in this so how are you going to do this we're going to say equal to the same way 22 by 21 multiply by uh, 9 into h square that means we take this into the same thing then minus h cube so minus this value multiply by that value again multiply by again s cube so note it is s cube and then outside is minus 30 so minus 30 so you got f a similar for f b you don't have to worry about it you repeat the thing that's easy as anything now to get c value is we told you how to get the c value is what they said a into a multiply by f b so multiply by f b then minus b multiply by f a now this whole thing be careful here uh, divide by um, f b minus f a so f b minus f a so once we got this that's value yeah so now to get f c the same thing you're going to apply equal to apply the formula 22 by 21 multiply by 9 h square so meaning you can say 9 into h square so now it will be this one multiply by again this one minus h cube so this one multiply by this one multiply by that one okay and then minus 30 so once you do this you got the c and corresponding of fc you got it now see the next line is very important you have to follow these two theorem and the theorem says that to get the value of b you look at this side first they said if this is there, then then b value will be c so we are looking for b value so come to b value and this new value of b will be equal to o c only if f a of f c is less than zero so how do you gonna apply this condition you're gonna write the word if if so you what is that f a into f c so f a f a is here f a into f c if this two value is less than zero then b will be equal to c value in this one otherwise its own previous value that mean this one that's it so it's saying some formula mistake is here okay um if yeah we need to put one more formula yeah so it works here now for a one they said for a will be equal to c if this condition is there so come to a and again apply the same thing equal to if okay note i'm putting two bracket here so what's that fb into fc so fb multiply by fc and this is less than zero then a will be equal to c so a value will be equal to c comma if not then a will be taking previous a value so that be that click it and then it comes up so once you got this two to get f a and f b is simply what you need to do is drag only these two don't select all of them only drag these two once you drag it because now once you got a f b then they can you can calculate this one so that's why once you drag this 
then you simply drag it and once you do done it then you simply drag it and once you got this full line now what you do is select the whole line second line and then expand or stretch it to whatever extent you want it now we can see that here all FC values coming of zero so this is becoming meaningless we don't have to take this the last one which we got it here is still here we can get it and therefore the last C value will be this one now even if you see this one this all these values are same so if this all this value are same so simply we can now even we can delete this one so this is your final solution and this is your final uh, C value which you're finding at the root of the solution so we went to one two three four five six seven eight but they just want it uh, how much um, they're looking up to three iterations so if they're looking for three iteration that means they're just looking up to that much so it's up to you whether you copy the whole thing or we just going to copy the first three iteration and once you got the three iteration here so now you can make it a little better you know this tables you can click on this you know this sign when it comes once you select this you'll this this box small box will come up click on that and you can select some if if you're using office 2016 uh, you can see some design here so you can choose some designing if you want it to look better okay so let's say if I select something like this and then you can drag you know all these things to make it a little sizable okay so see how it looks it looks good so here the one so last value C is the main root of this equation okay so um, so let's just apply a little bit solution for you so this is what the value I'm looking for so therefore you can say what this says here if uh, use the to what depth the tank should be filled so the answer is um, tank should be filled up to 2.02 now when you're filling up the tank I think up to two three decimal places or two decimal places it becomes simply negligible so you can say 2.2 if you want to be too exact say 2.26 meter so the tank should be filled up to 2.26 meter in order to have the volume of 30 meter cube and this you see this is a real practical problem and a similar kind of problems you might get in when you in a lot of engineering subject so that's it for this problem thank you for watching